Tesla started producing the Model S in 2012. At that time, Tesla was a young company trying to move from hand-built roadsters built off of a Lotus Elise chassis to full-scale production of a four-door sedan. They wanted to prove that an electric car for the masses could look beautiful and be functional, and the Model S did that. The evolution of the Model S you see today has been a gradual one. When they first started producing the Model S, there were no parking sensors, autopilot, or middle console. The power trunk and trunk cover were not even standard options like they are today. And to the untrained eye, it may look like the Model S has gone unchanged over the last 10 years, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The original Model S had a very different front bumper, and for original owners, they affectionately call it the nose cone. It was intended to provide something visually familiar for those that were transitioning from an internal combustion engine vehicle to an electric vehicle. About four years into production of the Model S, Tesla did away with the nose cone and went with a solid bumper and a floating Tesla logo in the middle. Because you have an opening where that floating Tesla logo is, it actually funnels that air going into there while you're driving into the wheel well and out and away from the car. You'll also notice that Tesla redesigned the fog lights and the functionality around the fog lights. They transformed it from more of a square looking fog light to more of a long, slender, horizontal fog light. And where there were chrome horizontal accents in front of radiator louvers, they've completely removed those and added air curtains to allow better airflow around the front portion of the car. The hatch of the Model S is largely unchanged in terms of size. They did recently remove the chrome accents all around the car, as well as the tail lights. It does appear that the front and rear fenders of the new Model S are wider to be able to fit the larger and wider performance wheels and tires. Because of this, they have also made the autopilot cameras on the front fenders larger. You'll also notice that on the original Model S, they did not include auto folding mirrors standard. They've changed the slope of the front hood to be a little bit more dramatic in the new Model S. This revision also happened around 2016 when they did away with the nose cone. The top of the hood starts just slightly higher and slopes down, providing more of a dramatic look. The headlights have also been revised. They're brighter, more effective, and the daytime running lights are more modernized. The front trunk, which the Model S popularized, has also changed pretty dramatically. With the rear-wheel drive original Model S, there was more room for a frunk. Over the years, Tesla has added a dual motor, so a front motor that sits on the front axle, as well as a HEPA air filter, which takes up quite a bit of room in that front trunk area. Rear storage has also evolved over time. You'll see more compartments and more cubbies in the new Model S. They also added a new magnetic trunk cover, which I think is a very fine touch. As mentioned earlier in the video, the power lift gate was not a standard option. It was an upgrade. And so the original Model S had trunk handles to be able to manually close the trunk. The interior is where we see the most dramatic revision with the recent Model S. There are so many excellent improvements that bring the interior of the Model S into a modern electric vehicle era. It feels more intentional, intuitive, and luxurious. One of the more noticeable improvements in the Model S is taking that vertical 17-inch touchscreen and turning it on its side. You've now got a horizontal screen that's in better view for the driver, as well as everyone else in the car who might be taking advantage of whatever is on that screen, like movies when the car is in park. In addition to the horizontal screen, Tesla has removed the circular steering wheel and put a yoke. I was initially skeptical about how I'd feel about the yoke, but once I got behind the wheel and put the car on drive, I instantly enjoyed it and loved it. 
It provided more visibility into the revised front screen, as well as a better view out of the windshield. Air vents have also been completely redesigned. Tesla has taken what owners of Model 3 and Y are familiar with regarding the HVAC and put it into Model S. They've moved from manual vent controls to digital vent controls that are controlled on the touchscreen. The benefit to making these digital is that you can save them as presets. So regardless of whoever is in the driver's seat, those air conditioner vent settings are preset. Seats have gone through a massive improvement over the years. The original seats are firm and not very comfy for long trips. The new seats have so much more padding and with this revision of the interior of the Model S this year, they've reintroduced ventilated seats. From a technology perspective, there is a market improvement over responsiveness in the new screen. It's snappy, there's no lag. They've even added tons of entertainment features that the original Model S did not have. In the new Model S, they've added a rear screen, although it's probably a bit lower than what it should be for the rear passengers. It's a nice ad that allows those passengers to control airflow as well as watch movies and other entertainment features. At its top end range, the 2012 Model S offered 265 miles. Today, the newest version Model S offers 405 miles of range. When that original Model S was introduced, it only had a single rear motor. Now Tesla only offers a dual motor version. There was also no autopilot with the original Model S. Over the years, they've offered an autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and now full self-driving and full self-driving beta. The original Model S had a 0.24 drag coefficient. Today, with all of the improvements through hardware and software, that drag coefficient has actually been dropped to 0.208. And even though the untrained eye may look at both the original Model S and the Model S today and think not much has changed, a lot has changed and Tesla has done this gradually and slowly over time. I think that the Model S will go down as one of the most beautiful and iconic automotive designs the modern world has ever seen. And even though the original Model S doesn't have all of the bells and whistles that today's does, it still looks beautiful as it's driving along the road. My name is Sean with All Things EV and I hope you've enjoyed this video about the evolution of the Model S over 10 years. If you did like it, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Did you own an original Model S? Do you own one of the new ones now, the Long Range or the Plaid? Sound off in the comments down below and I'll catch everyone on the next video.